hey what is happening you frazzled froki got some new cards to take a look at here today before we jump into it though i thought y'all should know that game grid has got their pre-orders available for shrouded fables pokemon products so if y'all looking to pick up any shrouded fables products and you want to support me here on the youtube channel then uh yeah check them out pick them up over at gamegridslc.com link of course will be in the description and you can use code azulgg to get yourself a discount over there as well so the first card to take a look at here is this sylveon ex one of those new terra pokemon with the crazy art style and a ton of energy types in their secondary attack but the first attack here for a psychic and two colors is 160 damage during your opponent's next turn attacks from the defending pokemon do 100 less damage the way this is word though is attacks from the defending pokemon so if your opponent retreats to a new defending pokemon then they won't do 100 less damage so this card doesn't seem very good for this attack it is a stage one with 270 hp by the way but the second attack water lightning psychic psychic choose two of your opponent's bench pokemon and shuffle them and all cards attach them into your deck if you use this attack during your last turn this attack fails that's pretty powerful now you're not doing any damage you're not drawing any prize cards but if your opponent only has two attackers set up and you put them both back in your opponent's deck they go from two attackers to zero attackers which is interesting you can also combo this with i'm blanking on the name of the poison pokemon ex or it's usually poisons pokemon whatever it's the ex pokemon when you put it in your active your opponent discards their bench down to three pokemon that's what his ability does so you could push that into the active switch into sylveon ex hit him with the attack shuffle two pokemon back to their deck and you could kind of like maybe fully decimate their board with that combination and then from there magical charm for 160 i don't know that might be enough to clean it up from there at that point they don't have a lot of attackers set up so they can't switch from attacker to attacker to remove the damage reduction the defending pokemon is then doing so that's how you could set up to actually make it so that the defending pokemon is actually doing less damage possibly i don't know that seems like pretty good to be honest yeah sylveon ex uh, one that i'm more excited for though is the seru ledge let me know how i did in the comment section ex 270 hp stage one once again evolves from the char cadet which also is what armor rouge evolves from but i don't think we'd be using armor rouge with this card specifically now it has two attacks we'll start with the second attack here which i think is the worst of the two attacks amethyst rage for a fire psychic and metal discard all energy from this pokemon eh, it's okay and we could run all those energy types because the first attack combos with any basic energy types for one fire energy 30 damage this attack does 20 more damage for each basic energy in your discard pile if we get 15 energy in our discard pile we're doing 330 damage there's a couple different ways we could combo this card with some other cards though obviously functions really well with radiant greninja discards energy to our discard pile draw engine boosts our damage there's a drill burr currently in the format uh whose ability says uh put it on your bench and you can search your deck for three fighting energy from your deck and discard them there's also that stadium card coming out that says if we have a terra pokemon in play we can bench up to eight pokemon so theoretically we could put the stadium in play uh, evolve to seru ledge ex bench four drill burrs discard 12 fighting energy from our deck maybe we're not gonna play four drill burrs but you get the point and then there's also a rapid ash in the format right now which has a really powerful ability just the stage one stage ones are just awkward to put in play right now to be honest Ooh, now that i'm thinking about it though maybe some rapid ash deck with aroma could be good i might have to try that out anyways we could play that with this this is also a stage one the rapid ash's ability says discard a fire energy from your hand and then your fire pokemon do 30 more damage to your opponent's active pokemon so theoretically every fire energy we put in our discard pile through each rapid ash we put the fire energy in, into the discard pile with we be doing 50 more damage on that turn and then we don't even need like 15 energy in our discard pile to be taking these big one hit ko's that could be a combo right there a little drill bar action to get the fighting in the discard pile a little rapid ash action get the fire energy in the discard pile and then all of a sudden the abyssal flames are swinging a lot harder so that's the combination that i came up with that sounds pretty cool i'm excited for this card honestly the sylveon card also now that i've thought about thought about it a little bit more talking about it right here I also like this one as well so there's some cool ex pokemon not the best card i think out of these newly revealed cards but these ones are definitely solid up next i'm just looking at this card honestly just to complain about it real fast the cradley with the mucus buffet uh, ability to stage two pokemon once in your turn you may flip a coin if heads choose burn confuse or poison your opponent's active pokemon is now affected by that special condition this ability we've seen multiple times on stage two pokemon can we get this on a stage one pokemon so like we can use it and like make some 
bad special condition deck like it being on a stage two is just so limiting uh it's attack for one grass energy though does do 100 damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's active pokemon but what are we gonna set up three of these i mean we can poison it with brute bonnet i would just like to see a affect your opponent with a special condition ability on a stage one pokemon it's always on a stage two pokemon yeah this card sucks but uh yeah i just wanted to kind of complain uh, up next we've got a cinderace x one of the new another one of the new terra pokemon they're actually finally taking use of the like term terra with this new set coming out and by the way this, is, this will be our september set i believe is when we're going to be getting these cards for a fire and two colorless energy uh, 280 damage during your next turn this pokemon can't use flare strike not a terrible high energy cost on the attack to be honest because we can use magma basin to accelerate fire energy to the cinderace here and then we can also utilize double color or double turbo energy excuse me not double colorless energy double turbo energy we would only be doing 260 at that point but i'm sure there's other ways we can supplement its damage it'd be hitting a little bit harder maybe rapidash i don't know the second attack here is uh pretty hard to set up uh for a firefighting and a dark this attack does 180 damage to one of your opponent's pokemon I don't know. That energy cost is something. Uh, but Flare Strike. Flare Strike. Especially if we can get the numbers up a little bit. That does not seem uh, terrible. Uh, up next, got more of a meme deck coming at us with the uh, the Kofu cards. So we'll read Kofu first here to support a card. Put two cards from your hands on the bottom of your deck in any order. Then draw four cards. So once again, a draw four supporter that has some kind of limitation to it. I don't know why they won't just give us a like, draw four. Like I feel like this could say draw five and it still would be... I don't know. Maybe that'd be pretty decent actually if it said draw five. But is it being it being decent? Is that that bad? I don't know if that's bad. If they said put two on the bottom, draw five, that does seem pretty good to be honest. That does seem. Is that better than research though? Probably not on average, but across the board, um, it's it would still be solid, and some decks would take advantage of it. But anyways, another draw four supporter that has a pretty limiting effect that'll probably make it a pretty bad card in general. But you would play it with Crabominable here got that prep work ability attacks used by this pokemon cost a colorless less for each kofu card in your discard pile and we've got water colorless 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 haymaker 250 during your next turn this pokemon can't use haymaker for, so theoretically if we get four kofu in our discard pile we can haymaker for 250 on a stage one for one water energy uh, we do only have 160 hp but that's not a bad number it's not terrible and then that we got the veluza let me know how I did in the comment section with that that name. Basic Pokemon 130, same ability with the prep work. And then for four colorless energy, it does 110 damage. This attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So theoretically, we could Sonic Edge turn one for zero energy. And yeah, uh, we'd ignore all effects on our opponent's active Pokemon. So cool Kofu, Grabominable, Veluza meme deck here. I don't know. It's a meme deck for sure. Nothing super competitive. Uh, but one card that I think will be super competitive and uh it's gonna be pretty good in something i don't know what yet but its attack is just so good is oh wait no there's one more card we have to get through there all right my bad i was hyping it up we'll get there in a second lady in 90 hp stage one <laughs> sparkling star pattern it's not this card by the way when you play this pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your pokemon during your turn you may switch in one of your opponent's bench pokemon with 90 hp or less remaining to the active spot so a little bit of a gust on lower hp pokemon on an ability on a stage one it seems okay in my mind when i was thinking about this card it also has free retreat which could be kind of cool you could like use this to like bring up manaphy and then use canceling cologne and then you're able to you know snipe around something like that with like radiant greninja or maybe greninja ex maybe you play this as like a one one in greninja ex it does evolve from the uh ladybug which of course has 60 hp so you could pop in for it pretty easily and then there's an ultra ball away from a gust on your opponent's manaphy the more i put this together with greninja ex to be honest in the moment right now that sounds pretty decent yeah my my initial thought when i saw this was like okay you could bring up manaphy gotta find canceling clone and we have to play with a snipe pokemon but if we can get all that to come together a little bit that doesn't seem terrible and with greninja ex that doesn't seem terrible. I kind of like the... I like where that's at, to be honest. I'm, I'm digging it for sure. All right. This is the one. Toga Tomaru. 80 HP basic Pokemon. But it's attack. Shocking chance for one lightning energy. 30 damage. If your opponent has exactly one prize card remaining, which isn't that hard to play like a single prize deck, or with the new Dusknor coming out in Shrouded Fables, force our opponent onto one prize card, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. No flipping. No other condition besides our opponent being on one prize card. They're just paralyzed. So you could run this in a deck to either just beat any deck potentially that doesn't play switch cards if there's a deck that just doesn't play switch cards you could just beat them with this card plus like radiant alakazam or if you're able to draw four prize cards and then trap a two prize or in the active for the rest of the game until you ko it that's what shocking chance could do you could draw four prize cards 
be up against a Charizard deck. Maybe they are out of switch cards if they even play them. They attack with a Charizard and you go, all right, shocking chance, pass. They go draw pass, you go draw shocking chance, draw shocking chance, draw shocking chance. And eventually they will get knocked out because they're just paralyzed for the rest of the game. Now you could combo this with other cards that kind of force the switch cards out of your opponent, like block Snorlax or other forms of paralysis like the Articuno, and then close it out with the target Togo tomorrow. Anyways, yeah, I think this card is sick. Really powerful card, I think, overall. Where it'll find its use is going to be the question, but like I said, uh, you can always like catch a deck off guard if they don't play switch cards. Like if you just go up against a deck that just does not play switch cards, or you want to tech for a deck that doesn't play switch cards, all you got to do is like draw those first four prize cards and somehow end up on one prize card or have them end up on one prize card. And then that's it. We win. That's game. Good luck in your next round. Up next, we got this Drift Blim here, which there's this Drift Loom, but this probably combos better with the current Drift Loom that people are playing in Gardevoir. It's got that everyone explode now attack for one psychic energy, uh, which is pretty efficient. Uh, stage one here, 50 damage. This attack does 50 damage for each Drift Loon and Drift Blim you have in play. So hopefully that's four. So we're doing 200 damage, including itself here in this situation. And then we do 30 damage to each of your Drift Loon and Drift Blim in play. So nothing's getting knocked out immediately. You know, Drift Loon's got 70 HP. The other Drift Loon that people play in Gardevoir right now that says for each damage counter on it, you do 30 more damage with its attack, but its attack does cost a Psychic and a Colorless Energy, which makes things maybe a little bit awkward because with the Drift Blim attack, theoretically, we would just attack turn after turn and attack with Drift Blim after Drift Blim by just attaching a Psychic Energy to it. But the problem with that is like, is 200 damage every single turn enough to win games of Pokemon right now? I think we got to usually do a little bit more so you could get monkey dory involved to then move damage off your damaged drift loons over to your opponent's side the problem with that is that we're not attaching for turn to drift limb because we have to attach for turn to the monkey dory we have to get zatu involved to accelerate the psychic energy to the drift limb so we can attach our dark energy to the monkey dory i'm not sure but it's a really efficient attack 200 damage for one energy on a stage one is not bad but it does need a little bit more with it. This by itself, I don't think is enough. I don't think we can sit there and do 200 damage, damage every single turn and actually expect to win games of Pokemon consistently up against top decks in the format. So we need a little bit more out of this. I don't know what that little bit more is, but hopefully it happens because Drifflin being a deck would be kind of cool in my opinion. And yeah, that's it. That's all the new cards. Let me know what y'all think about them. Is there any obvious combos that I missed with any of these? What are you gonna wanting to be trying these out with when we get them in, what I say, September? Pretty sure it's September. I think we get it in September. Let me know. Comment section down below. Catch y'all in the next one.